Hello and welcome to the Every Other Saturday podcast for uh, a milestone episode, episode 30. Um, can you believe it? Well, no, I can't believe that, mate. I can't believe that episode 30. I started this just recording your new card, mate. This is yeah. so on Zoom, but episode 30, that's a big milestone for us, mate. Yeah, uh, 30, 30 episodes, but 30 hours of us out there talking absolute shit about Rangers throughout the season. So uh, here we are to do it all over again. Um, and I, I feel like this podcast, uh, like uh, the video on YouTube, subscribe to your YouTube channel. We're nearly at 100 as well, uh, eight away. So hopefully we can get to 100 soon and um, follow the socials that will be on the screen as well. Uh, firstly, I just wanted to start this episode off actually we. Uh, talking a bit about mental health, um, just with the, the recent um, lockdown sort of stuff and all that, uh, the day, it's not really been promising for any day, not really any sort of hope about anything ha- uh, positive really happening in terms of going places, seeing family, um, going to the pub or whatever, just simple things like that have been took away for you. So uh, if MD is feeling uh, down with these lockdowns, the constant lockdowns, just please, uh, we're on Twitter, uh, as I said, uh, give us a message over there, tweet us, uh, and we'll be happy to talk to you about anything, because that's the worst thing uh, currently with this lockdown whole thing, is just people's mental health is suffering, so I just wanted to say that at the start of the video, though. No, mate, you're, you're right to say that, obviously, you're on charge of the Twitter account, so we'll be talking to your lovely, lovely face, as you sip a glass of water there, as you say, I... Just the family struggling, just obviously to reach out and go for the help. Aye. Um, and on to positive notes, uh, if, you, if you can take it for it, is Rangers uh, 4, Dundee United 1. Obviously, it's not really great uh, conceding a goal at home, but I mean, it was against the Kosh, wasn't it? It's a consolation goal. The Pigeons. Aye, the Pigeons. We'll say the Pigeons scored that one. Um, aye, but aye, 4 1. Uh, great. To get another victory, Dundee United, as we said in the instant match reaction on the channel, put up a good fight in the first half an hour. Could have had another one themselves uh, to go ahead, but um, seems like they got a bit of your mojo back um, for, for Antwerp anyway. And then leading into this game, that's two games in a row now. We've scored um, four goals. So is that promising for you, obviously, going into a, a crunch time of the season where we need uh, to get performance season wins? Uh, definitely, mate. I think it's, it's obviously. I think it was very important uh, to get a good couple against Dundee for me personally. Obviously, I thought, as we said, they played very well first half. Dundee, they were a better team. You could say for the first couple of nights without Al McGregor, as I said to you, where we would be. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's, it's about just getting the getting it over the line now, mate. Isn't it? It's about getting it signed, yeah. to and delivered, and over the line. Amazon next day, isn't it? <laughs> Amazon next day delivery. I and I can see you've um, maybe took to a bit of Dundee United there with the choice of your hoodie there. Aye, we arms ah, number. Well, <laughs> just, just to be, I mean, I do this, come on. Um, bye. <clears throat> I agree with what you said there as well. It's, it is crunch time. Uh, we're looking for points, performances. Uh, so hopefully Dundee United is a benchmark for that. Antwerp as well was, was a good performance, although we conceded a few. Uh, but uh, we're scoring four goals uh, back-to-back games, which is good. And as we say, every time Ryan Kent has a couple of decent games, he's back on form. Is he actually going to be back on form for, for like the foreseeable future now, or is it just going to be a couple of games? Yeah, I said to you, mate, you need to tell me he's playing Aberdeen Celica every game, and he'll, he'll turn up. No, listen, I think, I think as I say to you, it's about getting it over the line now. I can see Ryan Kent turn up. He had a couple of good chances in the Dundee game. Second half, I remember him sort of turning a boy, sort of trying to get that curved shot into the top corner. Um, I think they will. I think not only Ryan Kent, I think a lot of them will after Jordy was still in the show, obviously, at Dundee. I, I think a lot of them need to step up now. Just see it over the line, boys, in uh, Amazon delivery, innit? <laughs> I wonder if the trophy does get delivered by Amazon, mate. That's what I'm, <clears> I'm, I'm, I'm Imagine Amazon just turn up to Ibrox. There's his trophy. I could you imagine, but, like, everybody sitting on the Amazon website at 9 o'clock trying to buy the SPL trophy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then we just don't even get one <laughs> at the end of the season. It's just some mad guy sitting there in his house. Um, <laughs> but I... As we say, Ken, you're looking for this sort of level of performance every game. For him, oh, that's hard to maintain for a full season. I do get that. Uh, his numbers are getting there, though. I think he's nearly at uh, 20, uh, or was it double figures anyway, for assists and goals combined this season. So it's, it's good for his personal tally. He's beaten his, um, <clears throat> he's beaten his uh, personal tallies every year he's been at Rangers. So 
as long as he keeps improving, uh, giving the fans back these performances, uh, I think we'll all be happy with that. Um, at the end of the day, he's got a few now, a couple of assists, a couple of goals in the past two games. So you're hoping we can take us into um, Antwerp uh, at home, which is going to be, we'll talk about it at the end of the episode, but it's going to be a, an attacking game by the way it look at it anyway. Um, and just for the next sort of segment as um, Joe Aribo, uh, we've we've been big fans for Joe Aribo, as, we, as you said at the start, we, when we were in the fucking motor, talking about Joe Aribo and how we wanted him back and stuff like that. And it's took him a while to get back up to speed uh, to, to the level he was at, at the start of the season, but he's definitely getting there now. He just seems to, I don't, I don't even know the word, he's that good. I'm listening, mate. What's what's hard to describe? I love it, Jory. I would use the word sensational, amazing. No, I'm only joking. I'm going to scream like a, a comic here, but oh, I just think Jory. Bo. I sensational. We'll go with sensational Jory. Bo. There we go. There's his name. Um, Jory. Bo, I think he's sens- sensational, mate. There you go. Said that again. No, he's he's fantastic, mate. He delivered Dundee. If it, as I say, I thought a lot of players didn't turn up for me personally at the Dundee game. I don't know if that was maybe. I'd say fatigue for the, the last game, how mm-hmm. how long it was played for, do you know what I mean? So I don't know if it was that, but Joe just turned up and did the business. Um clearly one of the players who does as I say, want to get over it, get it over the line, mate, and get that Amazon delivery. Yeah, I, um definitely. Look that way anyway. He's um just he's so good at times, like games like that where he can play on the right hand side, um, he can play in the middle. Uh, he played out in the right hand side actually against Antwerp if I'm not mistaken uh, up that front three I'm sure but he's he's effective for, for every position uh, I watched Gerard's uh, interview after the game and he's like he doesn't even know Aribo's best position he's that good we seen him la- about this time last year playing left back it's exactly that's what I was about to say mate he looked fantastic at left back exactly so he's, he's a good player to have um Nigerian international as well, uh, sought after player. You're lucky to have him at the club, and with performances mm. like that um, against Dundee United, you wonder how long is he even going to be here for? Uh, because that will have a lot of people's uh, mm-hmm. eyes on. Aye, a hundred percent, a lot of people's eyes will be on him. But let's not curse it. Let's hope Joe's up here for a couple more years. Yeah, I hope so. I think there's still, I think there's so much more that Joe can. I know he's had a sensational performance against Dundee, and he's been fantastic. But it's easy, I think there's so much more still to come for players like Jordy One Haji for me. Mm-hmm. Nah, and uh, that's what I wanted this segment to really talk about is like players like Aribo and Haji and it might not be mainstays in the side like Kent but when they're called upon when they're selected normally uh, have a good showing they've had uh, bad showings throughout the season uh, as like, an individual but I mean they've had Haji for, since that Motherwell game where he came on off the bench has not really looked back to be honest with you he's just kept getting better and better scoring goals, getting more assists uh, putting the hard graft in for the team in Aribo, pretty much the same. Came back for his injury, putting in a graft for the team, playing in any position, uh, scoring goals, making them. Uh, two really exciting talents. No, they're tremendous talents, mate. As I said, I've backed Haji even when he's got criticism. I've still backed him because he's just since that. Well, he's no sensational. That's Joe's Sensational, name, the word of the podcast. <laughs> I'm saying sensational when I'm going prime. That's the words of his podcast here. No, um, I just think we. Young Haji and Aribo, they're still young, they're still going to develop an even better players. I know that might be a bit strange to say right now, but they are, they're going to get even better. Haji's been, do you know what I mean, a player that's got a lot of criticism, but you look at his stats so far this season, do you know what I mean, the amount of assists and even mm-hmm. goals he's chipped in me. They've been sensational this season, mate. As I've said that again, there we go, it's my favourite word this day, <laughs> sensational. Um, aye, I have to agree with you, Haji is... Definitely uh, proved a lot of his doubters wrong. Um, Aribo, although I think a lot of the fans have took to Aribo, uh, he can get frustrating for a lot of people uh, at times. But uh, 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 the two of them... It's the same with Kent as well. It's the same with Kent uh, and the rest. Do you know what I mean? They can be frustrating, but you're only frustrated with them because you know there's potential. Kent showed it in that European game there. As mm. soon as he came on, you knew he was going to do something. You knew he was going to get a goal. Uh, that kind of player. We just want to see that consistently on a daily do you know what I mean? Every game, but I he goes through his peaks and his valleys, but he's still a top player. No, aye. aye, I feel like that is pretty much all the three players that we've listed. They're attacking players, still young, still a lot of time to grow. Um, and chip them in with goals and assists every now and then. You know, obviously, as you say, you're expecting that every game, but as long as we're getting it now, uh, and we continue to get it, I mean, I'm happy with that. Uh, 
I just die. Joe Aribo, sensational. We'll, we'll finish it there. Sensational, um, sensational Joe. And I, that, that uh, win against Dundee United on Sunday, it put his 18 points clear um, until Ross County played Celtic, which they ended up beating Celtic, uh, which leaves us only needing seven points uh, for the next however many games. I think we've got three until the split. Livingston is the one up next week, um, next Wednesday. We haven't got a game at the weekend because they're playing in the, the cup final. But um, seven points away for the league. We can finally talk about it now and in a really confident um, mood. Uh, but aye, as of recording, seven points. Uh, what a position we've put ourselves in. Oh, 100%, mate. I just want to touch the Ross County game quickly. I've been seeing on Twitter, I think, the young boy we've got out on loan that's at Ross mm. County. Apparently, he had a real. Oh, so like again. Stephen Kelly. I, I sent him a tweet actually. Um, that's two times now he's bossed them. Um, beat them at Selic Park. Beat them uh, up at Dingwall as well. Sent him a tweet. He liked it. So Stephen Kelly, if you're watching, I appreciate it, mate. Uh, well done. And that's an odd guy, as you say. Get him, <laughs> get him on here, mate. Yeah, yeah so good, mate. completely bossed it. And we've got low knees even doing job for us. Mm-hmm. I have only so. Being an actual professional footballers and no wee dafties, but um, no, mate, as we can say, three tough games. I've said this to you, you know what I mean? Even before this period, sit Marin, do you know what I mean? Beat us in the cup, Lavi, Drewbys, and obviously mm-hmm. the big one. Um, these are going to be difficult games before we even get to Celtic. I don't think we can overlook these two teams, as I said. One's beaten us, one's took points off us. Mm-hmm. So they are going to be tough, tough games, but I just pray and hope that the boys are just straight on getting business. Obviously, first, these games going to be. A massive game as well, um, in terms of how it turns out, but trying to do it a week, but you know what I mean, like the team's nah, morale, how they're doing. I just feel like um, if we can get past these games, as I say to you, mate, Amazon, what day, where are we doing this, son? Because let's do it. <laughs> nah. um, I, I feel like that, that is important to mention. Uh, Livingston, uh, the word we've got up next in the league, is always a notoriously tough place for any team in the Scottish Premiership to go to Wednesday night. I mean, they've took points off Selic there. They've took, they've been on some run uh, up until the past few weeks. They've started dropping points, but the the main hope I, I have. A, I read a sorry, mate, cut you off there. I read an interesting mm-hmm. thing about uh, Ravi's manager that he broke his leg or something in a, like, a pub game he was playing, and it stopped his career for going to like Rangers or something. Oh, really? Seen it in one of the papers. I he was broke his leg in like. A pub. I only knew he was in jail. Like, to be honest, that, that was all. I didn't even know that. He just seems like a right character. To be honest with you. Uh, yeah, I like him actually. I like Martin Dale. I like his story. As I said, I've said it a few weeks ago in the podcast. Uh, I, I like uh, the, the come up him, obviously, getting the, the fair play, sort of hearing off the SPFL. He can continue being the Livingston manager. And what a job he has done. He's got them into fifth place. Nice. Uh, he's just really behind Aberdeen now. He could maybe even push for a fourth place finish, uh, which is massive for a team like Livingston. If you get the, the players there playing out their skin. Uh, well, listen, I'd play it for skin for somebody like that, man. Listen, if he's, you know what I mean, done timing or that, listen, you better be running about from you better nah. be bringing a sweat. <laughs> um, you would be, mate. Yeah, I yeah, can't disagree with you there. Um, the I, uh, Livingston, St. Martin at home, and then Selic. Uh, if we get past these two, we can win the league at Selic Park. Um, and what a story that would be uh, for the season. Ah, uh, that would be... Um... That'd be sensational for all the five ones and all the, the previous years. They just <clears throat> watching us absolutely get demolished at Selic Park to finally be able to do something so special there and stopping their paradise of 10 in a row and <laughs> all this mad good stuff. It's uh, now going down the drain. Um, so, no, mate, that's listen. If that happens, I think I'll greet, mate, to be honest with you. I think that's one where the emotional came out. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And listen, you know what's going to happen as soon as it's over. All Ray McCoy's to hang when McCoy's to talked about. Listen, have a giggle because we will be back and we will be back even better. Do you know what I mean? You know, all this stuff's going to be shared about Gerard's, yeah, as you said on our Gerard's interview after it, mate. That's going to be class. Um, I don't even want to get ahead of myself here, mate, but I know, I'm just... I know it's it's hard, but it really is hard because it's literally um, within touching distance now. Uh, so, so many little games to come. Um, three games and we're, we're champions I mean that's <clears> it's massive for the football club it's massive for Steven Gerrard and it's it's massive for the group of players that are playing because um, don't get me wrong they, these players have actually played out their skin this season uh, 
It was not that long ago. I was looking back at a tweet mm. I seen on Twitter. Air results last February. Um, we drew two each way. St. Johnson. We beat Braga. Uh, we get beat off Hamilton. We get beat off Hearts. We were rotten <laughs> last year. Mm-hmm. And uh, there was a program thing that came out at, at the Hamilton game where uh, I don't know if you know, but Tavernier and the manager do like a like a wee, uh, what do you call it a paragraph in the the program basically talking about the game and what has happened up ah. to the game. And Tavernier was, said there are 30 teams at, at this time. Uh, and I, I never really understood that. That's Because obviously that underlies the, the form that was at that time. And the fact that we've grown to basically just romp the league a year after that um, with the same crop of players pretty much, it just shows that this... Stephen Gerrard has been right all along with the players he signed that are still here uh, because they've put in some shift this season anyway. Maybe they didn't work out last year, but uh, hats off to every single player that's been involved. 100% I've got to agree with you. And I think you have to look at some of the players as well. Like Ryan Kent told he wasn't good enough for Liverpool. Joe Rebo's story as well, coming through where he did, worked his way all the way up to Charlton, things like that. Mm-hmm. Look at players like Hadji, do you know what I mean? Taking them for the Belgium League and Moulding him, do you know what I mean? We know he's going to be one for the now in the future. Connor Goldson as well. Listen, I, I remember watching him play. I think he was at the Brighton and Leeds game. I remember watching him play. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think he had what's he got something in his heart, and he? he's got a heart condition Aye, or something. In that's, that's what I was going to touch on about Connor Goldson. Actually, he had a uh, was it a heart problem or something like that, a heart disease or something like that. Uh, many missed a lot of football, and then Rangers signed him, which was a risk in itself, signing him for three million. And then not knowing how many games he would play. I think he went on that season, he played something like 60 games or something like that. And I think he, I'd be amazed if he had missed even five or 10 games for Rangers in the whole time he's been here. He's started every single uh, game, played every minute of this season. And then his first season, he's played about 60 games. Last year, obviously, it was cut to a short season. But even then, man, he's one for me. He's my player of the year currently. Uh, honestly, I think Cora Goals has been massive. I would agree with you, mate. I'd agree with you as well, mate. Obviously, for difference of opinion on him for last year, do you know what I mean? You were thinking toilet water for me last year, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Especially that Hamilton game you're talking about there. Exactly. Um, it, was, it was so much um, mentally and emotionally for these players to actually come back and do what they've done this season. And that's why I just... It's, revolutionary Gerard and all these players will be etched in his- history if we get this over the line with the next uh, three games it's players, for, it's players like Tav that for me it's it's going to be so special you let see him do you know what I mean hold that trophy because you ain't coming out abuses too, do you know what I mean you've been at the games mate and you've heard the abuse he gets do you know what I mean you've mm-hmm. seen the hot and cold opinions it's the same as same as always with, with all the players but Tav man he's took some extreme amount of criticism and to see the, the season he's had do you know what I mean some of the Sensational, there it is again. Sensational free <laughs> kicks. Do you know what I mean? Dundee off the top of my head, man. Um, no, it's going to be really special, mate, to see these. Do you know what I mean? Even McGregor as well. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Coming back and doing the business saved us countless millions of times. Do you know what I mean? No. Let's just let's let's not hang me overlook as I say. Let's not overlook Levy and St Mirren because they're two decent teams, as I've said. No, definitely. Um, but aye, we move on to. Uh, Europa League before we can even play another league game so it'll be next week's podcast where we'll be talking about the, the Livingston game um, and the St Mern game and that so uh, mm-hmm. the focus for the now is uh, Antwerp in that second leg obviously over there 4-3 EA Rangers in an absolute mad game uh, <laughs> covered it in length on the channel uh, when it happened and it's just um, do you expect it to be as crazy as it was over there uh, come Thursday? I hope not, mate. I hope not, to be honest <laughs> with you. I, hope, I really hope not. Um, I hope that it's a lot more controlled. Obviously, we're at home, so I expect a top performance. I expect maybe just one or two goals to just see it over the line, keep mm-hmm. a lot of possession for me, anyway. Um, they're, not, they're not, I don't want to say, they're not a decent decent side, let's be honest. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Did use a good game, but I think the majority of that's down to that referee, which was... Aye, uh, it was poor. Wow. Poor referee. Um... Let's hope their goalkeeper's up for doing the splits again because he was he was all right at the splits. He couldn't save a penalty. He's, he's actually he's injured. Um, I seen the result at the weekend there. They drew nothing each, and he get, he was playing Beeren Van, but he uh, subbed off in the twenty fifth minute. So obviously, whatever's happened in the Rangers game has injured him. So uh, it'll be De Wolf. I think that was he came on anyway. I think uh, in that game, aye. he came on for the last penalty. In that, aye. 
So he'll be right. playing um, Sek, uh, who get sent off for that uh, handball in the last Damn minute. Me. He's banned, uh, but they've got they have got their uh, main striker back in Lamakil Zay, who I mean he's got decent stats for the season. I think he's got about five or six goals, um, and he'll be a danger because obviously they didn't have him last week. And personally, I was impressed to be. A few few of the players I was impressed with Rafailov. I thought he was really good. He was probably their best player. Uh, the boy that scored mm-hmm. the penalty. Uh, obviously, he's, the way he got it was a bit questionable, but I thought he looked a decent player. Uh, obviously, Richie Delat coming for uh, what was it Leicester and he won the Premier League with Leicester. Actually, Aston Villa he played with as well. Captain of them mm-hmm. looks decent. <laughs> Lukaku and Buta on the the right and left hand side as well. They're, they've got danger going forward, but. It's just for the fact I don't think they are that good defensively. They can move the ball about well at times, but see yeah. when Rangers really upped their game, put pressure on them, uh, they did. They uh, thought it fell apart. Mm. Uh, how many times did we hit over in on goal? No, I agree with you, mate. But I just think for me it was see, just watching the physicality differences. See, for me, I found like it was like Rangers were like under Huffins being men. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like how physical they are. Don't know what's in the water no. over in Belgium, <laughs> but they certainly. We're quite, do you know what I mean? Strong cunts anyway. They looked at to me anyway. Like Akus, you're saying, like Akus brothers, mm-hmm. pretty decent, do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I, I did obviously call him Bobby Lashley last time. I didn't mean that, but uh, <laughs> and that was some shoulder tackle. He did the Balakin man, and he took the boy into the third row. Yeah, yeah, no, by the way, I've, I was, I've watched back the highlights a few times now, and I've seen that one. It was good to be not so one on Balakin after obviously losing Tav the same game. We would have had virtually nobody to play there, so. And Ryan Jack got injured at the weekend, so we wouldn't even fucking have a right back uh, at all. <laughs> so imagine if Balogun had got injured for that, exactly. Um, but I feel that like Rangers, the way they played, uh, as I said, attacked them well, hidden the majority of the ball in the second half. It was a bit, I think they get shell shocked for the Tav injury, personally. Uh, uh-huh. They just looked unsettled completely after that happened. Get that break here, go, obviously. Uh, but we, we will need to watch. Uh, Antwerp, because even though they were, a, a, mm. I feel like not really a great side. We've played against better, I would, I would say, this season. Ah, I would um, say we've played. But played we better, still shipped three game. goals, so we need to be watching that outlook. No, exactly. That's what I was just going to just say what you're saying there, mate. Do you know what I mean? Still need to obviously pay them respect. They're still going to be a decent side. Obviously, they're going to look to turn up and turn the tie around and pull something off. Especially about beating us at Ibrox. So probably be like yeah. the first team to do that this season, anyway. Yeah, it would be, aye. So it was something big for them, but as I say, I just hope we dominate possession and get one or two goals and see it through. Aye, and speaking of um, score predictions, teams, I'm going to give you my team now. Um, I'm going to go with McGregor, Balogun, Holander, Goldson, Barisic, Davis, Arfield, Kamara, Aribo, Morelos and Kent. Um, mm. Phil Hadji drops out to the bench. It'd be unfair. Right enough, I thought he was decent at the weekend, but Aribo is the one I'd imagine in there. Um, for a, an extra bit of sort of cover in the middle of the park, you've got Davis, Arfield, and Kamara there as well, and then Kent Morelos for going forward. As Aribo can join the attack as well. Um, but I am I'm going with that. And for my score prediction, I'm actually going to give one. I'm going to go three one to Rangers. Uh, I feel like they will get a goal for somewhere, but I feel like Rangers will score more than them. Yeah, uh, you know me, mate. I just always say Rangers win. Um, the only thing for me really is I noticed it in the Dundee game as well. What I was going to say, as I said to you. Um, is there's like as I said, we had a chance in the fourth minute in the Dundee game. Ball sort of get played into the box far post. I was saying to you, Tav would have been there, probably slotted it in for a goal. I feel obviously Balogun's not obviously he's not gonna be attacking, do you know what I mean? He's a defender, but just when he goes forward a bit, it's kinda he's not obviously not getting the paces no, Tav or anything like that. He's not minded. I feel like he's just more defensive. Mm-hmm. So I'm feeling like maybe somebody else is gonna have to push out and do sort of a lot more, obviously because Tab's Aye. Tab's gone. Um, there, but no, I don't have a problem with that team. Maybe Haji, maybe Haji yeah, does deserve to play this game, but who knows, mate? I'd maybe pop Kent in the bench and just say to him, listen, second half, go and do what you did again. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I don't know, see um, if he motivates him to do something. Exactly, do but he should, Kent should be on a high now. Um, after the obviously scoring at the weekend, good. good performance at the weekend again. Uh, the man I'm looking forward to see, uh, hopefully at some point, Scott Wright. I felt he came on at the weekend, put in a really good oh, performance. It looks um, really good. Uh, f- Aye, definitely good work with Aribo. And it uh, looks like a good player, obviously, if we can get him games, games and games. Um, he becomes a better player for us. So I feel like he's going to be one to watch out for. Uh, uh, obviously, when we talked about Scott Wright signing, 
didn't really know much of him uh, or who he was, mm. what he was like. But I feel like he's going to be a good player, honestly, if we be uh, uh, first opinions. No, I definitely mean I've got to agree with you. Just what we've seen him, he, he does look like a real bit of quality. He looks like Gerard and the team have really scouted a real solid player there. He, I don't know if that's maybe, do you know what I mean? Maybe if we lose somebody in the summer, maybe, do you know what I mean? He'll get in the mm. first team. I've seen that uh, the boy Simpson. I know Gerard was talking about him saying he's going to be, have to be patient and wait to get game time. He's not, Gerard's right. not going to just pop, pop, do you know what I mean? Holland or a goal to the team because he wants to get in. Do you know what I mean? You've got to work to mm-hmm. get your place in. That's what I'm liking about the mentality Gerard's bringing is listen, I'm not going to just bring you up because you're down for England and you're going to get fired in. Yeah, you're going to have to work to get in because these players have been solid all season. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Especially defensively for me, but Aye. whoever's played in that defensive partnership, they've been solid, man. So there's exactly no points for me. Really. I feel like Simpson um, he came on, made his debut at the weekend there. I think he was a bit shaky. I think he was nervous. Uh, but mm. uh, he's one, we're going to need to be patient as well, as Gerard is saying. Like he's, he hasn't going to come straight into this team, and it's just the fact that if it, no matter how good or bad he is, uh, due to the fact that the two central defenders at play, what have we conceded two goals at Ibrox? I think maybe under 10 in the full league season. Um from a defensive standpoint, it's the team is just unbelievable. Um, but I, I do feel Simpson will add quality to that area as well. I think he's a step up for George Edmondson, uh, who we let go. Still get Nico Katic to come back in, in the summer as well. I'm really hoping he gets his opportunity in the summer uh, after he's been missing for a full season. Ooh, Edmondson is, is he been, is he played for Derby at all? I he played. Can't remember who they were playing. Uh, was maybe last week. Yeah, I seen him. He did play. I. So he is playing. I'm just wondering. So is Jordan Jones. Jordan Jones is getting game time as well. Edmonton getting games. Yeah, I know. I listen. Look, that's that's good for them. Um, good playing League One football and Championship football. That's good for them. But um, we are uh, we're talking about big boys here. We're talking about Connor Gilson and Hollander. Good lads. Aye. Do you know what I mean? Who obviously respect the club and the fans. So, aye. Aye. Uh, no, mate. But as we're saying about Scott Wright, listen, I just can't wait to watch him. I, I expect once. Hopefully the business is done. Amazon Prime's delivered. Um, that he'll got sort of get the, maybe the split. He'll sort of get to play a lot more games. Do you know what I mean? Definitely he'll play against Aberdeen. I can see that in a heartbeat. Um, <laughs> they get hat trick against Aberdeen. I'm gonna put that out there into the universe. It's got yeah, right hat trick against Aberdeen. Do you know I'd love it for the reaction he gave them for joining Rangers anyway. I'd love to see him score against them, and I feel like you're right with that. Um, if we get this over the line with the next three league games, um, and then it gives gi- us freedom to bring in. Uh, players obviously we still want to win every game but uh, bringing in players like Scott Wright Greg Stewart <laughs> Jermaine Defoe Cedric Eaton hopefully getting more Cedric, regular game listen, time as well see Cedric see for me he's starting to get overlooked a bit for me I know Defoe get brought on but mm-hmm. come on to do you know what I mean Cedric's been I think he's been decent do you know what I mean I mm-hmm. think he's good good at what he does do you know what I mean I just think he's getting overlooked a wee bit for me do you know what I mean I'd like to see him get a wee bit more game time I mm-hmm. uh, definitely he's a he got a good attitude. Cedric Eaton, he's always try to roll his sleeves up and play as well as he has when he's got on the park. Uh, it's going to be hard for him though, uh, competing with Alfredo Morelos, Roof uh, for a starting jersey. But when he's been given his chance, although he maybe hasn't scored as many as we would like, he's put in a shift. He's tried his best. They was like, they played that Hamilton game where we virtually didn't play well yeah. at all, and then Kilmarnock we didn't really play great. Uh, so I feel like he's been quite hard done by with this games he started, but I, f- I feel like he's definitely going to be a good player for us um, eventually. Hopefully he gets his chance um, with the split. Well, that's what I'm on with. That's what I'm really hoping for. It's just when the split comes, a lot of players that haven't do you know what I mean, got a chance, get a chance. I'm praying, mm-hmm. as you said, mate, Greg Stewart. Let's hope for it. Man's I, I only want to see him come off the bench once. That's all I want. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> um, but... Hopefully, yeah. Aye, that's that's the episode. To to be quite honest with you, um, we've been through pretty much Evan, uh, and and time for the the Antwerp return leg. So I will look forward to that one. We'll be back on the channel for that one as well on Thursday night, um, which is hopefully a positive one. And then when's the draw? Do you know? Is, uh, it, is it the Friday after that? Is it a week after that or somewhere? I've got no idea. Do you know what? I'll try and find it after this game, but we'll be back um, for the instant match. Yeah, see before we go. Aye. I've got something to say. See the last episode. Mm-hmm. See the way it started. What well, I was picking my nose, mate. I was not picking my nose at all. I, oh, was I, just, I didn't even notice. 
I will I noticed, mate, it's like this. This looks like I'm picking my nose here. People are going to look at this and think I'm <laughs> picking my I'm not picking out any bogeys. I'm going to be seven-year-old. I was just keeping my nose a wee white, you know what I mean? Sanitizers there, I'll go and spray my hands, but eh, no, no joke. <laughs> ah, good episode today, mate. Big episode for us, obviously. Yeah, aye. Proud of how far we've come, do you know what I mean? Proud of all the work that you do, continue to put in, do you know what I mean? Obviously, you're the main man that controls the Twitter. You're doing the stuff, do you know what I mean? You're doing the main thing. I'm just here to give my, do you know what I mean, my opinion. But as I say, maybe we both started this journey, do you know what I mean? Just sitting in your wee car, just... Yeah, exactly. Holding, you know, you know, just thinking to yourselves, listen, if one or two people listen, we'll be appreciative and the amount of people that are listening, do you know what I mean? We're grateful. As we're saying, do you know what I mean? Mental health, just keep yourselves as sane as you can, do you know what I mean? Talk to people if you need to. Work out, do what you have to do, run up down the stairs, do what I do, mate, just order a pizza, hot, watch a nice movie. Your smoothie, do you know what I mean? Exactly. No, just okay. any way you can, uh, I'll reiterate that as well. Um, just try and stay as positive you can during these uh, times. And I feel that's it's a good way to end on is with the way we started. Um, as I said, our DMs will be open as well for anybody struggling, needing help. With, and just fire us on your telly and have a laugh. Uh, that's what that's what I like making content for, making people laugh, sharing opinions, uh, and helping people out. Well, so. Just let uh, Shane Duffy's opinion, mate. That's what I would I say. Get, get, laugh, get Shane Duffy's get highlight reel on. <laughs> um, I, but as I said, that, that is the episode. We'll be back Thursday for the, the Antwerp reaction. If you've got any thoughts in the episode, um, you like it, you hate it, let us know in the comments section and let us know um, if you agreed or disagreed with any other points here. So uh, if you could subscribe to the channel and uh, follow the socials, that'd be much appreciated. And we'll see you on Thursday. Cheers.